So class, last time we talked about different kinds of foods and we said uh, we consume proteins and uh, especially when we want to grow, we want our body to grow because these proteins are called bodybuilding foods. Yeah. Uh, for instance, when you take beans, yes, boiled beans yeah when you eat chicken when you eat meat that is proteins yeah so those are bodybuilding foods uh, when you take starch we said that those are energy giving foods carbohydrates carbohydrates or starch are energy giving foods so when you eat ugali when you eat rice Yes, uh, these are foods that are able to give you energy. When you take uh, skuma wiki or you take fruits, then you are prepared to fight diseases because you've taken vitamins. Yeah, when you eat skuma wiki, you are taking vitamins, hence, your body is able to fight diseases. Yes, yeah, so today class i just want to take you further by trying to explain to you that once you take this food they have to be digested in the body and then they get absorbed for us to realize this energy we are talking about uh, for us to protect these diseases we are talking about yes so that is why today i bring to you a topic called digestion what is digestion? Digestion is breaking down of food into smaller substances to enable it to get absorbed by the body. So class, today I want to take you through the process of digestion. Digestion happens in a channel and digestion starts in the mouth. So here, I've tried to label the mouth as number one. At the mouth, Majorly, starch is absorbed, is digested. Yes, uh, majorly starch is, uh, is digested in the mouth, and this is happening by the help of salivary juice that is produced in the salivary glands. Yes, they are the mouth. By the help of the tongue, food is channeled into bowl like substances that are called bolus. Bolas are round like substances, yes? Uh, almost like a ball. So from there, I told you that starch is majorly digested up there in the mouth. So from there, food needs to get down to channel 2. Channel 2 is esophagus. That is a pipe uh, that is responsible for passage of food to the stomach. There is a force that happens, uh, there is a force that helps to push food down the esophagus or the gullet. There is this force that is called peristaltic force. Food is moved down to the stomach. At the walls of the stomach, and remember, I've labeled stomach as number three. At the stomach, uh, majorly, proteins are digested, yes? And this is what happens. At the walls of the stomach, we have got glands that are called gastric glands. These gastric glands produce gastric juice. And these juices have got enzymes. Majorly, we have enzyme renin uh, that is found in babies and helps to curdle the milk. And then we also have enzyme pepsin that is majorly found in adults and helps uh, to change these proteins into peptones for it to get uh, uh, absorbed, yes? Uh, we also have got hydrochloric acid inside this so, uh, same stomach, yes? The hydrochloric acid helps to kill germs in the food, okay? Hydrochloric acid helps to kill germs in the food. From the stomach, food moves down to the duodenum and I've labeled duodenum as number five yes class duodenum is number five 
Duodenum is just at the tip, at the beginning of the small intestine. You see, I'm trying to talk about number five. Here at the duodenum, majorly we have got fats and oils that get digested. How does this happen? Class, as you can see, number 12, uh, uh, number 11 is the liver. Yes? Liver produces bile. Bile juice is produced at the liver and it is stored at the gallbladder. And I've labeled the gallbladder as number 12. The, gall, uh, the, uh, the bile juice that is stored in the gallbladder helps in digestion of fats and oils in the duodenum. Okay? So class, I don't want us to get confused. Digestion of fats and oils happen in the duodenum by the help of the bile juice that is produced in the liver. Okay? Uh, the duodenum is also a host of digestion of starch and proteins. But how? We, we have got this leaf-like substance. Class number four. This number four is called pancreas. It looks like a leaf. It produces pancreatic juice that mixes up with starch uh, and proteins that is digested in the duodenum. So the duodenum is a host of digestion of number one, fats and oils, and number two, starch and proteins. Okay, class? So final digestion takes place down here in the ileum or the small intestine. In the small intestine, final digestion takes place. This is by the help of intestinal juices that are found inside the small intestine. Uh, and here, uh, these juices are very powerful because, you know, uh, there are some of these foods like the starch. Uh, we say that a huge chunk of it is digested in the mouth. And some of it, again, is digested in the uh, duodenum. But we'll still have others that are left. So when we get to the small intestine, we have got the intestinal juices that are uh, actually stronger. And they mix up with food to help in the final digestion of food inside the small intestine. Then from here, now digestion has ended. So food needs to get absorbed in the body. How does this happen? In the walls of, this, uh, in the walls of the small intestines, we have got finger-like projections that are called the villi. When it is one, it's, it's called the villas. And when there are many, they are called the villi. They are finger-like projections that are normally found in the walls of the small intestine. And they help in the absorption of these digested foods. So in the large intestine, here at the large intestine, I've labeled it as number eight, the colon. The large intestine is a host of absorption of water and mineral salts. Okay? There is no digestion that takes place in the large intestine. What happens there is absorption of water and mineral salts. So from there, food is temporarily stored in number nine. This is the rectum. Food is temporarily stored here and then finally released through the anus, through a process called ejection. Ejection is getting rid of undigested food through the anus. So class, I have said, digestion of food starts at the mouth and ends at the small intestine. Yes? But there is this channel that we have even the anus inclusive. Yes? This whole channel from the mouth up to the anus is called the alimentary canal. So class, I don't want us to get confused. I want us to mark this right. Digestion begins at the mouth and ends in the small intestine. And alimentary canal starts at the mouth and ends at the anus. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. So class, we are just going to continue this way. My name is Mr. Okeke Amayo, and I was taking you through digestion. Uh, science to be precise, this may be uh, a point of interest to the standard eight, standard seven, and even standard six. Yeah, so we're going to have Mr. Innocent shortly. Uh, until next time, see you.